morning guys welcome back to the ISO channel my name is Tyler and we got a little bit of a different video for you guys today I'm going to be shooting my new hunting setup it's going to be this Tika it chambered in 7mm we got a Vortex Viper on top of it and yeah it's going to be pretty sweet I got her dialed on a paper last week but now we're going to dial it in at 100 yards and see if we can work the turrets out and shoot her out to maybe four or five hundred yards. So I got a couple different ammos that I'm going to try out at hundred yards just to start with. So got some Remington Corlox, some Barnes, and some Hornady Super Performances. I've heard good things about all of them. I've seen these work really well with Tikas before. So we're just going to try them and see which one gets the tightest group and maybe we'll shoot the best one out a little longer. start with this box of barns. Um, here's what the ballistics look like on the back if you're interested. Shooting about uh, 3200 out of the muzzle so we'll see how it goes. This is what I used to get it on paper last week so it should be pretty close to it. Alright, let's go see how we did. Okay, so here was that first shot, and then I didn't mention it, but I made a two MOI adjustment, so that should have been two inches at 100 yards, and that produced this next shot, these next few shots, which are almost touching. That's really good. And then this third shot was a little high, and I think I was shaking just a little bit, so I'm I'm okay with this. This is this is really tight and really good. So we got two more boxes and we'll see if we can put something all on the tape. But this is pretty good grouping for 100 right now. So let's go walk back down and uh, hopefully the gun barrel's cooled off a little bit. So Okay, next we're gonna try some Remington Coral Ox and they're shooting about 31 uh, feet per second, or 3,100 feet per second out of the muzzle. So, let's give it a go. Wow. That's a, that's a really tight group. <laughs> They're all like, you could put your pinky in between them and they'll probably all touch your pinky. <laughs> so let's go check it out. Let's let this gun barrel just rest and cool off. <laughs> so this is how tight that group is. That is ridiculously small. I mean, here's my pinky. I was right, you can touch them all with just your pinky. <laughs> so that makes me really happy and excited to see uh, what this gun can do. So 
We got one more box of ammo just to try, but uh, definitely probably going to be shooting those Remington core locks with this Tika. So we'll see how the next box goes. the super performance Hornady rounds that is also a pretty tight group I think maybe almost identical to those core locks so I think I might just uh So this is 450 yards with a drop of 6 MOA, no wind, we're going to see how it goes. I get to take this long shot, so I got three rounds, we're going to try all three. For reference, the target I'm shooting at is about 6 MOA wide. So I'm going to hold, I'm just going to try and hold center. This Vortex Viper goes up to 16, so let's see what happens. Okay, so this is kind of busy because there's a lot of shrapnel that came back through the box, but shrapnel, shrapnel, shrapnel. These three are the bullets that hit. So one of them hit dead center, which this is where I was holding, which is great. Um, that's about seven, eight inches, and that's about, you know, seven, eight inches. But overall, if that was an elk, um, those would all be in the vitals if I was holding dead center vitals. So I think that would that would kill an animal at 450. So, but that's cool. So I haven't taken very many long range shots. So it's uh, nice to know that I'm improving at least. <laughs> so thanks for watching today, guys. Um, We'll be sure to maybe put out some more shed videos in the next month or something. So we got some trips planned out to go to some new areas and do some backpack shed hunts. And yeah, so it should be fun. But turkey season's coming up too. And once that kicks in, we'll be rolling out some turkey videos. So stay tuned guys, it's gonna be a fun season.